Hello, beautiful YouTube community. Hi, Twitter. Did Solovyov, the unlovely Russian propagandist, call for Putin's resignation? That's what Anton Gerashenko's account on Twitter yesterday claimed in connection with a clip of Solovyov subtitled in English. Let's look at this and then try to take a little bit of lesson away for ourselves, if we might. The answer is no. Solovyov was referring to Gerasimov resigning and not to Putin. Let's look at how it panned out. So the subtitle said, Commander-in-Chief may need to resign. But if you listen to the clip in the original, Solovyov never says Commander-in-Chief. He just says the top guy, which is a reference to Gerasimov. Putin would typically be called president or главный командующий, or even if he's going to be called the top guy, he's going to be called верховный главный командующий. That's to say he's going to be called the supreme commander-in-chief. But that's not all there is to it. It's not just that he refers to Gerasimus as the top guy. It's that in the next sentence, Solovyov says, but these decisions are above my pay grade which is a reference to Putin needing to make this decision. And then in the sentence after that, he goes on to say that we need to look back at our best historical examples of putting the best people in charge, which is another reference to this being a call that Putin may need to make to make the Russian army better. Now, I'm not going to call this disinformation because this could have been an innocent mistake, so let's call it misinformation. But a lot of you wrote in to me wondering what this was all about and also feeling rather convinced that he was referring, that Solovyov was referring to Putin. So let's talk a little bit about this. Why does this matter? Now, civically, I am a West European. That's to say my political emotions are here. So frankly, I'm not that exercised if you get something wrong about Russia. But I am exercised if you flow about in misinformation that might hurt you as a Western citizen because you are my neighbor and we're in this together. So there's a risk of swimming about in information bubbles and being vulnerable to sort of gobbling up a little bit of misinformation innocently if you don't take epistemic care enough because being truthful doesn't just mean being sincere it means robustly checking that stuff is accurate and why does this matter so much in relation to our own politics it matters because what i passionately care about is that you are able to engage in conflict constructively you see as a western citizen what scares me is if we swim about in our epistemic bubbles and lose the capacity to accurately picture our political opponents, your political opponents, and therefore oppose them effectively. So that's the risk. You've got to be effective at engaging in conflict constructively because lots of post-truth authoritarian meanies are coming to get you in the 2030s, if not in the 2020s. That's the Western perspective. Now, if you tell me, Vlad, I'm just so passionate about Ukraine and I'm not thinking about anything else, I'll tell you this. The boys fighting for Ukraine at the front, they're soldiers, but most of them wouldn't be soldiers apart from this war, apart from you know, a situation where their neighbor has descended into this repulsive, imperialist, violent frenzy. They're people like you do different jobs and they're at the front and you're going to care about them if you care about Ukraine. And they don't need you sitting about, sipping on a frappuccino in Vancouver, talking about the instant demise of the Putin regime that ain't necessarily coming at all. You see what I mean? So there's an ethical responsibility, if you want to just focus on Ukraine, on asking, well, what would folks fighting at the front, who are only there because of the horrific neighbor Ukraine has, right? What would they want me to do? And would they want me to speculate daily about Putin's imminent demise while I sip on my oat milk frappuccino? Um, thanks for tolerating this potentially condescending message. Lots of love.